An exciting day on Long Island for some high school students after a successful test flight of technology that they made from scratch. And even more exciting, NASA may choose it to send into orbit. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch explains. Precious cargo on the move. You can hold it in your hands, you know? 17 year old Mia Sorrentino explains attached to this drone is a CubeSat or mini satellite made up of all those wires and circuit boards. We want to prove that a satellite that costs a fraction and is a fraction of the size of actual NASA grade satellites is just as useful. Sorrentino is one of 15 Freeport High School students on the CubeSat team. We're all like the, the nerdy science kids. And proud of it, says head of the team, 16 year old Victor Villatorio. It's definitely an, an honor to be able to do it. Shares his team is one of just five in the country chosen to fly high for the CubeSat Challenge, sponsored by the U.S. Department of Education and NASA. Today, the drone soared 200 feet up, collected GPS and temperature data. It's coming in very, very nice. Fed it back in real time to the computer. The ultimate goal is to compare how climate change has affected different places around the world. This particular project brings space missions out of the clouds into the classroom. Dr. Vincent Pereira, director of science at Freeport Public Schools, says this is education at its best, a true motivator for students because one team's CubeSat will be chosen for launch via rocket ship and sent into orbit. We got this. The team should find out before the end of the school year whether or not their CubeSat will be sent into outer space. I would be gobsmacked. This is something very big, and just the, just the thought of it, you know, kind of makes my knees a little weak. The future is more than bright. It's out of this world. From Freeport High School on Long Island, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. I very cool. Good luck. Yeah, nerdy but proud of it. I like that kid. That good line. Good line. Mm -hmm.